In this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and show Azure Data Catalog. It's probably my favorite feature that works with Power BI. It allows you to have a centralized data catalog search of all your data sources in an organization. This is the metadata uh, we have called Project Barcelona in the past and uh, also works with different types of tools as well, so not just Power BI. So in this case, I'm going to search the data catalog. I can see we already have at Microsoft here uh, almost 700 users, 100 of us publishing in here, and documenting about 5,000 um, different data sources and whatnot. So let's take a peek and see I have a mailing list that I want to look for. So I'm going to do a quick search here. And what you'll see I have is a list of by that data source or by that search term, the various data sources we have available and some information about them. In this case, I'm going to look at this direct marketing one. And I can take a look at preview the fields that are in here. You can see the friendly name for it and you know, who are the, the subject matter experts. I can tag it. So in this case, I've got my tags in here and I can get the real like where what, what is this? This is a, a SQL server. The database name here is AdventureWorks. Probably sounds familiar to folks. And the object is it's a target meal. So I can preview the data and take a look at what's in there. I can look at the column definitions. So in this case, I'm looking at the customer dynamics CRM ID. It's the Microsoft Region Master. You can certainly add your own descriptions in there. Another cool feature in here is data profiling. So if you ever you know, had to get a feeling for the types of data that's in there, uh, data profiling used to be a little bit difficult in SQL Server, uh, not very accessible to business users. And this is a business user accessible app. Um, the idea is that subject matter experts will document what they have. And speaking of documentation, there is even a HTML um, word-like doc in here that you can go ahead and link or provide further information. In this case, I just have a little note in here. Hey, don't use this uh, for email campaigns. This is really for uh, snail mail campaigns, if anybody does that anymore um, in here. We can open. If you see, I've got Power BI Desktop. It's probably a little bit hard to see there. In SQL Server Data Tools, Excel, and you'll continue to see more tools in here. So you see th you'll see things like Tableau Desktop, ClickSense, and, and other desktop data discovery tools will start showing up in this list. How did I get my data in here? As you can see, there's uh, quite a few different types of data and uh, you can register even reporting services reports. Great thing. There's tons of data sources. Let me show you how I got data in here. You go to the Publish tab and you'll launch, it's a click once application. I've not used this manual entry. I don't know why you would do that, but um, essentially it was requested. But I've got this click, click once application installed here. And let's stretch it out a bit. You can see there's all sorts of data sources. So I've got SQL Server, Data Warehouse, Analysis Services, Reporting Services Reports, Oracle Database, Azure Blobs. So if you're using things like you know, Data Lakes, Teradata, Hive, MySQL, HANA. So we've got quite a few data sources and they continue to add additional data sources in here. Again, think of your enterprise reporting directory that you can search by all these keywords. This has been a common request forever and ever and ever is, oh my gosh, we've already got this data. Don't report off it again. Just find it and find out who the subject matter is to use the blessed source. So in this case, I'll go to my, my local SQL server. I'll go ahead and pick AdventureWorks again. So you can see the one I did go ahead and publish before. I like to publish my views in here. You know, it's a little, help, a little more helpful for the business users. And I'll go ahead and copy the object over that I want to be registered there. You can choose then to include a preview of the data and a data profile. You can add any expert there. Uh, usually be your, you, you don't want to add yourself a little uh, add already. So uh, Jane Doe maybe might be the, the expert for, for the data mining prep since the data mining tool has been uh, not invested in in a while in, in SQL Server. Uh, it's a little joke there. And then you would register the data. And what this does is it does not copy. It only copies uh, the metadata. It does not copy the data from the data source. So this allows folks to have 
uh, a way to find data very easily, to catalog it, and then, you know, easily connect from the reporting tool of their choice for a governed data discovery type of application.